Hi, the Gregory's Guru here, and I'm, I've got in front of me here a few of our pastries that I'm going to show you how to make a heart-shaped uh, version of it out of it. So I've got our crispy that I've pre-rolled out, and I've got our 5x5 Danish, and our Danish snail, and I'm going to show you how you can turn these into a heart-shaped product. So I've got some standard cookie cutters here, and then some different sizes. We're going to take the large one here, and all basically what I did with the crispy is I rolled it out ahead of time. And I'm just going to take the cookie cutter and cut it into a nice little heart shape. And you can make different sizes and whatnot. Same thing with the 5x5 five five square. You can make a little heart shaped piece out of it like that. Then you're going to proof these Danish um, about 40 to 45 minutes, so about three quarters of proof. Once you get it proofed, before you put it in the oven, you're going to pipe the filling on. Like so, just in the center, you're going to leave the edges like that. You can put a little streusel on there, and once it's baked, you can put a little icing on there, like that, you know, the heart-shaped Danish. The crispy, we just left like this, we just baked it, we didn't have to proof that, obviously. And then, once it's uh, baked, you get little heart-shaped ones. I've got some different sizes, here's a little baby one as well. Okay, what do we do with the scrap when we've got extra Danish? I made a little kind of shell here, put it in a standard cupcake tub, and I made a, a little pastry out of that, so there's no waste. And the last item I got is our Danish snail. I took a knife and I cut it through the, the two outer edges like so, and I pushed that together to make the top of the heart. And then the bottom I just put a point. You want to make sure that you flare it out pretty good like so. So you get a nice little heart shape. I know it doesn't really look like it right now, but then you, you proof it. Once it's proofed, you put the filling on as so. And once it's baked, you get a nice little heart shaped pastry. And I piped a little icing on there like that. So there's a few ideas that you can make heart shaped pastries out of for your customers.